Well, a major report out today from the Congressional Budget Office that shows six million Americans, which is two million higher than first estimated, will face some serious financial punishments under the president's health care law if they don't buy the mandated health care coverage. A reality that represents some $3 billion more in penalties than we were first told about and a 50% increase in the official estimate of how many uninsured people will have to pay. Lou Dobbs is the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network and LouDobbs.com. Lou, this is a hefty penalty that now we're being told is not going to hit 4 million Americans. It's going to, it's going to hit 6 million Americans. And the reason it's so controversial is because the additional 2 million Americans are not rich people. Oh, the, yeah, the, the one percenters, as it were. In, in fact, they're closer to the one percent at the bottom of the uh, income scale. Uh, as you say, 50 percent more will be paying these penalties. And the idea that six million people will be hit with this, middle class people, we're talking about. And one of my favorite numbers from the Congressional Budget Office, as we talk about the middle class who are going to be decimated by this, just stuck down here at the bottom with under twice the poverty level, 600,000 taxpayers, that means folks making $23,000, will be hit with these penalties. They will be taxed, uh, according to the uh, Obama Roberts. I like to call it the Obama Roberts uh, <laughs> health care law. Uh, the, the idea that this would happen is unconscionable. Uh, for any administration, Republican or So you're talking about people who make 20 grand a year could face this penalty? 20 grand a year could be hit by it. Because that, it sounds like the majority of folks who are going to get hit by it make between 55000 right. for an individual, 115000 for a family of four, or less. So that's right. right, and that is not, you know, the president that's, said he wasn't going to raise taxes on anybody who made less than 200 or 250 for a family. We don't have enough hours in today's uh, Fox broadcast uh, uh, <laughs> schedule to go through all of the promises that have been broken on Obamacare. But this is one of the most painful because it does attack the middle class. It does attack the poor. And think about this, Megan. These 6 million people who will be hit with these penalties averaging $1,200, that works out to an entire week's wages after taxes, after deductions, for someone making around $55,000. This is, this is serious stuff. The thing about it is, having been a poor person at various mm -hmm. points in my life, uh, the reason you don't buy health insurance is because you can't afford it. It's, you know, most people, it's not that they don't want it. It's that you have to do a budget and it gets eliminated because exactly. you can't afford it. You have to buy food and you have to pay your mortgage or your right. rent. Um, so what will happen to these people who have found themselves in that position is then they'll get slapped with a 700 to $1,200 right. fine by the government at the end of the year. If they, if they pay it, it doesn't get them health insurance. It's just your penalty for not paying the bigger expense of buying actual health care coverage. And, and the idea that this is coming from, well, a government that says they're here to help. It is always the same story. One of the great three lies is the government is here to help. And this is a disastrous consequence of unthought out, irresponsible, uh, capricious public policy making. But is the IRS really going to go after people making no, 20, 50, 80 not. grand a year who don't pay this penalty? The great thing is the IRS is led by intelligent, uh, thoughtful people with a sense of proportion. They have said, the head of the IRS has said, we're not going to go after these people. We will, uh, where necessary, you know, we'll deduct whatever it is from your uh, refunds. But they're not going to go after people. Well, and so, I say good so, for the IRS. And well, you don't that's want right. to say I mean, that. If you're a middle class worker, you don't want the IRS to be messing with you and making you yeah. pay this fine. But the whole law, Obamacare, is set up based on the, this sort of financial input from people. <laughs> like, So what happens to Obamacare? What happens to... You know, that, that Those fines are supposed to fund this. Well, as you know, the part. Obamacare is not often fond of enforcing laws of any kind. But in this instance, they are actually defeating the purpose of Obamacare itself. That is, there will be about 26 million people who can file for hardship. Unions are getting waivers. Illegal immigrants get waivers. The middle class gets clobbered under Obamacare. Because if you're uh, low enough, you can get Medicaid right. to pay for your health care well, coverage and not... To a degree, yes. Uh, but the fact of the matter is... This is a square shot straight at the middle class, and again, one of the most dramatic and, and I think uh, really uh, perhaps the most dangerous breaches of promise by this 
uh, president on health care and not raising taxes. Well, we'll see. I mean, because these health care plans, even though they're cheaper than they would otherwise be without the government sort of supplement, they're not they're not that cheap. Not for these families. They're, we're talking a few thousand dollars in some cases that people an are going to have to, to buy a health care plan. An individual in most cases now is paying $4,000 as an individual and on average about 15000 for a family of four. And that isn't changing, even yeah. though the president said it would. It's a lot of dough. There'll be a reason they don't buy it, and then they have to pay, pay the fine. Lou, thank you. Great to be with you. Well, in just the last hour, a